Hey guys, Dave with First Place Auto Parts. Thanks for joining us today. This is gonna be part two of our project upgrade for our 87 Chevrolet C10 shop truck, which was born as a custom deluxe. In the first video, we installed the Flatline Barrier Eat and Sound Deadener product. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to install brand new ACC carpet in a vehicle and some tips and tricks and some things to look out for that'll make your installation go a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and get started. ACC's replacement carpet is packed with features, replicates the OE factory carpet, and helps ease the installation process. Details such as a dielectrically attached heel pad, side edging near the kick panel area that is finished with surging, and factory correct dimensions and contours from the molding process results in a carpet that will not only fit like original, but is easy to install and will look great for a long time. The tools that I'll use to install and fit the carpet are pretty straightforward and include a pair of sharp scissors, a razor blade, and a sharp pick or screwdriver and that's all I'm going to need to install this carpet. A pro tip is to lay your new carpet out in the sun after unboxing for approximately 15 minutes. This step will help any shipping wrinkles relax and make the carpet more pliable and easier to work with. To install a carpet, fold it in two front to back and slide it into the cabin of your vehicle. Starting at the back of your vehicle, slide the carpet forward while carefully unfolding it towards the firewall and under the brake and gas pedal. The new carpet is molded using a combination of heat and detailed molds taken from actual floor pans for the vehicle the carpet is designed to fit. Because of this, the carpet should and will fall into place in areas such as footwells and transmission tunnel areas. And finally, before proceeding, make sure you haven't left any tools or attaching bolts beneath the new carpet. If you don't, you may be tracking down where you left those bolts or tools after the installation and you'll get to do it all over again. I cannot believe how good this carpet looks. This floor in particular has some pretty exaggerated rises and, and recesses that um, this molded carpet fits exactly. Even better are where the bolt holes for the seats and the anchor for the seat belt goals. They're well marked with depressions molded into this carpet. I can see exactly where these holes are. It's gonna make installing these products after I put the seat back in that much easier. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut the, uh, the holes in this carpet. The one thing you wanna do or you wanna be careful of when you're putting your bolts in, you do wanna cut these holes open so that the carpet doesn't snag onto the bolt and start to unravel the carpet uh, or get stuck into the threads, can make it hard to put it in. So we're gonna go ahead and make X's where the bolt holes go. I'll show you how to do that, but this thing looks like a hundred bucks, man. Looks like a million bucks, actually. The surging along where the kick panel would go, again, this truck's a custom deluxe, did not come with factory kick panels, so it's not an option, but they went ahead and they finished the carpet there, so it doesn't matter if you have kick panels or not, it looks finished. They've cut it to the perfect length, it goes up to the firewall exactly where it should go. It's not too long, I don't have to do any trimming back there. All that's left for me to do is mark the, the, uh, the bolt holes, which I'll use with my grandfather's ice pick. Uh, I'll find those holes, make sure I'm dead center. I'll X the carpet where the holes are so I can get my bolts through. Um, and then I'll put my sill plates on and then the next step after that is literally to put the seats back in. This will be one of the easiest carpet installations I've ever done. And I can't say enough about the quality of the ACC carpets. Okay, after you've gotten your carpet centered and it's exactly where you want it to be, you've verified that it's from side to side, the sill plates are gonna cover where the carpet ends. We're gonna go ahead and start marking our mounting anchor bolts. This bolt right here is gonna be where the seat belt mechanism goes, the, the latches, if you will. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this. The carpet already has an indent in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pick and punch right through the carpet and then I'm gonna flip this thing over and I can see where the, the circle, they've actually imparted a circle here so you can tell where to cut this. But I'm gonna take a razor blade and I'm gonna cut an X into this so that the, the bolt can actually go through the carpeting without grabbing it. So I'm gonna cut from the backside. It's a lot easier than trying to cut through the carpeting itself. Um, but let's go ahead and cut an X into this, just like this. So what we have now is a place for the bolt to push the carpet aside, but we didn't take any carpet off so that it won't be any bare spots that go around the mechanism itself. So let's go ahead and lay this back down. You literally cannot see where I cut the, uh, the carpeting, but what you can do is you can put your finger through it and feel the bolt hole. So um, this is exactly what we want. It's gonna make putting this thing back together a lot easier. What I will do is sometimes I'll trim just the tabs or the tips of the X's, the part that came apart right here. 
Um, I'll go ahead and cut these just to give me a little more room, the very tips of them. It'll allow the bolt to go through that much easier and it'll make it easier to find once we have the seat in here as well. Uh, it still won't show any, um, any bare spots when the, uh, the actual bracket itself is mounted on it, but it's just a little tip that makes it easier to find. Um, like I said, we can put it down and you can actually see now where the hole is uh, without leaving too much access uh, on either side. So we're good to go on this bolt. We'll go ahead and do this for all the mounting bolts and then uh, we'll go about putting the seat in. Okay, so I've cut out all the mounting bolt holes. I marked them all and, and cut them using the X method. I cut the little ears off of the X's to just give me a little bit of a hole. Like I said, we don't want the bolts to catch the carpet as we screw them in. Uh, because it'll start to unravel the carpet, but can also make installing the bolts a little bit more difficult. The next thing to do is to install the sill plates. And what we'll do um, here is the sill plates will actually hold the carpet in place. So when we're jostling the, the seat into the position, which is invariably gonna happen, um, not the, the carpet doesn't move. The sill plates will actually hold it. I cannot get over the difference that this carpet has made inside this truck. Truly, it's, uh, it's transformed it from just a work truck to something that's just a little bit nicer and a little more luxurious. And once we get the seat in, we'll find out how much quieter it made it as well. All in all, I would say that this was a fairly easy installation. You just have to take your time. Make sure you mark the bolt holes correctly because you don't want to cut anything too short or cut anything too big. The holes are on the, on the bolts and things of that nature. These seat belt retractors will cover up easily this, these holes and the, seat of the, the feet of the seat will, will cover up the holes that we've made uh, for the mounting brackets. But man, what a difference. Uh, well worthwhile and not terribly expensive to do as well completely transforms the inside of this truck. Final steps are to install the seat and its attaching hardware, and now you're ready to experience the quieter and more luxurious feel that the interior of your vehicle has due to the flatline barrier install and also the new carpet. Okay guys, moment of truth. Time to find out what the flatline sound barrier did and also the installation of the carpet in regards to the interior noise. So let's go ahead and go for a drive and see what we got. Already I can tell I don't hear the sound from the transmission and the exhaust system, which is amazing. The squeaks and rattles that I used to hear are non-existent. Man, the sweet sound of silence. This truck has never been quieter inside the cabin, and I 100% give credit to the flatline barrier installation. The carpet is a wonderful upgrade in regards to the way this thing feels. It looks totally different and like a much higher trim level vehicle. For the complete line of Flatline Barrier products and also ACC carpets for a ton of vehicles, go to First Place Auto Parts and simply typing in fpautoparts.com. There you will find thousands of restoration performance parts for your American muscle car or truck. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button or the like button. We're going to continually be adding new product review videos and also how to install videos that you might find of value when it comes time to either replacing, repairing, or upgrading your vehicle. Until next time, keep the hammer down and keep it between the guardrails.